Hey guys, it's Project One here with Bidwell, well, a uh, little Microforce modded tutorial, and today I'm just, uh, walking you through how to um, update your Microforge. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, updating your Microforge isn't very important. Well, it is, you've got to think of it this way because keeping up to date with the latest version and all that is always very important because you can have things like um, in the previous version, which I showed you how to install, um, you had issues like um, like what, they, what were they, they had names like name function and all that and you want the actual names of these things like you don't want function and things like that so what you basically in every version of Forge they have new things like new registry systems and like how to create allow you to create things easier and things like that and also they change the names of the things that the actual functions actually do so they just change the rename rename the actual um, variables okay so let's get started shall we um, first things first you want to go to um, uh, Google and type in Minecraft Forge download. We hit uh, the f the first link again, files.minecraftforge.net. And so a page like this, and you always want to download the latest version, okay? Because this is for mod developers. You can always look through the change log if you have if you have a desire to, okay? And you see in the latest version on it, it's actually updated FML, which means it's like changed registries and all that, okay? <clears throat> Uh, and then you also want to download the source, okay? So you click that and it will automatically start downloading. I'm not gonna do I'm gonna click it like that. It'll take you to add fly. Three, two, one. And skip the ad. And then it'll start downloading. Hopefully it's not gonna download. Or well, maybe it did. Okay, but I already have this version downloaded, so I'm just gonna kind of like just ignore that, see how it's got the bracket one. Okay? So once you've done that, you can actually close Google. Let's make sure you saved it somewhere you know. What you're going to do is you want to go to wherever you have your MCP workspace. So I'm going to go to my M, my programming folder, which is here. I'm going to go to my MCPs. I'm going to go into my YouTube tutorials. Okay, once you're in here, go into source, go into main, and then you just want to copy over your Java, um, not, not the Java folder, yeah, the Java folder. Um, inside, go inside the Java folder and then copy over your com folder. So that's where my thing is in. You don't need example, so we can just delete that while we're in here, actually. Okay, and we can actually just copy over um, uh, the com folder. Okay, once you start to add textures, you might have an assets folder up here, so you want to copy that over as well, so you don't lose any of your textures. Okay, but we've not, we've not done textures yet, that's just an example. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy my com, I'm going to go back to my MCPs folder, I'm going to go into my archive folder, which I created earlier. So I'm going to place into some uh, these this folder somewhere safe. These files somewhere safe. So I'm going to just right click, hit new folder. I'm going to call it YouTube Tutorial. And inside of there, I'm just going to post the com folder, which has got all my stuff in. Okay. So once you've done that, you want to go to wherever you, you want to go to wherever you've got your um you saved your MC uh, your forged to your forged folder the zip. Okay. So it's there. I've got, I know where it is. I'm going to right click on it. 7 zip. Open archive. Okay, I had the same issue again, but this time it's the other way around. I actually had to um, click and drag the files. Just go into your old MCP, delete everything in there. Just straight up delete it. Okay? So once that's deleted, like so, you want to go into your. Uh, once you've got the archive on, press Ctrl A and click and drag. Or you could just literally just right click on the folder and hit extract. Um, sorry, right click on the folder and hit extract uh, 7 zip and hit extract files. However, that didn't work for me for some odd reason. It was the other way around this time. I had to go into here and click and drag. But anyway, um, it's one of those two ways. If, if you get an error in the first place, I just moved that into there, didn't I? Flip. Paste this into here. Damn it, okay. I'll be right back because I need to get that folder back. So I'm back, got that folder back, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so once you've extracted it all into here, okay, again, you've got to do the same thing you did last time, okay, when you actually initially set up your MCP. Shift, right click, hit open command window here, or navigate to the place, however you do it on Mac, I'm not too sure. So I, well, I do own a Mac, but I don't use it. Um, okay, and I'm going to type um, Gradle, sorry, I forgot then, Gradle. W, because that's the um, program we're calling upon. Okay, Gradle W sets up decomp workspace eclipse, like so. Sets up decomp workspace eclipse. Yeah, I've spotted it all right. So then just hit enter, and it's going to do the same thing it normally does. Okay, 
So it's going to download everything. Make sure you make sure you've got a steady internet connection because it actually downloads downloads all this on the web. Okay. So I'm actually going to pause the uh, video here, and I'll be right back once everything's downloaded. Okay, mine should be fairly quick because I've got a fast computer. But yeah, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so, yep. Okay, so you see, uh, sorry, um, I was, yeah, yeah, I get the words out. Okay, so yeah, you see the build was successful, is what I meant to say. So it took um, a total time of 3 minutes and 35 seconds. Okay, because my computer's fairly fast and I have a decent ish internet connection. Okay, so it's built everything, it's done everything it needs to do. And yeah, okay, so that's it, that's everything. Okay, so we can just close this off. And now all we need to do is we need to open up Eclipse. <clears throat> Navigate to the, to the same place we had our uh, folder, which is, well, since I haven't changed any of the directory, it's all named the same folder and all that. It's in the same place, you see, if we could hit Browse. We go to our Documents, we go to Programming, we can go to MCPs. And we still have got um, use tutorials and many clips in there. So it's all the same directory for me anyway, but um, you might you might have created a new directory, I don't know. But anyway, so once you've done that, you want to hit OK. And Eclipse will start to launch. Hopefully with no errors, if you're lucky. Oh, in fact, so you should get one error, if, as far as I'm aware in this version. Yeah, you should get one error, which is a um, error with that their actual example mod. Because, yeah, I don't know why they haven't updated the example mod by the sounds of it. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna delete this example mod because we don't actually need it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just want to open up a new um, window. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna navigate to where I actually um, to my archive and then to my YouTube tutorial and then I'm gonna copy over that like com folder. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into our MCP directory again. I'm not going to go into Eclipse, I'm going to go to Source, Main, Java, and I'm just going to paste that com folder in here. Okay. And you see, everything's been ported over. Fantastic. Okay, so we're in the latest version of Forge now. So we see we have no errors at the moment. Okay. But um, you ha may have a few errors which you will need to update. Okay. This is just a general tutorial actually how to update your Forge. It's not actually how to fix errors if you have any. However, they will be done in the future as we keep going through with the tutorials. Okay, guys, okay, so thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!